Hi guys, I'm out here at the forge and uh, I wanted to do a video on uh, a project that I'm going to do. Uh, we talked about it earlier earlier in another video where I showed you all the more, different Mora knives and I told you guys that that was a, a, a cheap uh, way to get a really good carving knife for your uh, long term survival woodcraft type kit. Uh, but today we're going to go ahead and we're going to we're going to use this Mora Classic as our profile knife. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to make a carving knife today. And we're going to do something a little different. I'm going to use I'm going to use this old file. It's almost about the same size. It's a little thicker, so it's going to have to be thinned down a little bit. And then the ends are going to be put on. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to make this a full tang knife. Rather than just the small tang, it's going to be a whole thing. It'll be a little bit smaller knife, but that's okay because it's just going to be a carving knife. So stick with us and I'll get the forge going real good and we'll get this thing heated up and start on it. So we'll go ahead and we'll take this thing and we'll get it in there and get it, get it nice and hot. Actually we're going to work, work on the tip first so that's the first part we're going to get hot. So let me go ahead and get this thing warmed up and we'll uh, get back with you. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is try to get our point on here. We want this thing to be kind of pointy when we're done because this is going to end up being... A ...carving knife and a nice point would be good. We need a little more heat on that. Before I get too carried away, I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm going to take this, this Mora knife and uh, just lay it up here on the front side of my anvil. Eh, on the uh, on the wood here, on my stump, and just use it as a something to look at so I know what I'm, I'm looking to make. So uh, I'll get this thing out of this heat. And... Start forming the tip of this thing. It's really sunny out today, so you really can't tell how how hot the piece is. So let me go ahead and Get that tip formed a little bit and I'll get right back with you.
trying to widen this blade out just a little bit and thin it a little bit at the same time. And then put the tip in it. tip a little bit more. Okay, so now I just need to try to get the profile on the tip about the way I want it before I move on to the rest of this. So, this part right on here is going to be the bottom of my blade. And all I got to do is get it Somewhat close, because I could do the rest with a grinder. It's really hard to tell how hot I am with the sun, so put this in there. I'm gonna make sure I keep it good and hot so I don't break it. I'll be right back. So all I have here is a hand crank forge and sometimes it takes a little while to get things hot. So uh, I've just kind of been playing around with it a little bit. Uh, a future uh, video is going to be making a brake drum forge with an electric blower on it because uh, this crank is starting to get a little old. Although I like this old crank, I'll probably keep it and use it out here and there. But sometimes that electric blower is kind of nice. But hey, if the electric goes out, this thing is good to go. So. Uh, just wanted to talk to you about that a little bit.
Okay, guys. Um, I'm going to go ahead and break this video up into a few parts because it's getting really, really long. This is going to be uh, like, I don't know, like part... I don't know. I'm probably going to break it up into three or four parts. i got to try to keep the YouTube videos down to around 15 minutes max or uh, it takes forever for it to download on my thing. So, so this is the... Uh, um, forging a carving knife video and uh, I'll go ahead and break it up into four or five parts. It'll probably be called uh, um, I'm not even sure yet. It'll probably be called the uh, long time survival bushcraft um, carving knife. It'll go in the kit series. Um, so let me go ahead and uh, stop there and we will uh, come back with another part.